everybody, my name is Kyle on the 339 welcome back to another video. Today in this one, it's another deck profile for you guys, and today in this one, it is Phantom Knight. Yes, another good rogue strategy deck in the current format. Uh, if you, The reason why you don't see a face cam on me right now is because my camera is being stupid this morning and does not want to cooperate with me, so I will have no face cam for this video. But without further ado, let's get into the card by card of this deck. Starting off with one of the best starters in the entire deck is Phantom Knights of Torn Scales. This came out in Phantom Rage. A lot, the Phantom Knights got a lot of support in Phantom Rage, and the, technically, I, I guess you could say this is my deck profile for the Phantom Knights because I never did a deck profile for them during the Phantom Rage um, season. But this will be that video for you guys. Yeah, Torn Scales is amazing. Discard one card, send one Phantom Knights card from your deck to the graveyard. Accept this card, and then if you banish a card from your graveyard and and Torn Scales is in your graveyard, you can spell summon it from your graveyard. That is fucking amazing, amazing card. I guarantee three of. You want to see this as your starter without a doubt. Then you got the Phantom Knight of Silent Boots next. You got another three of. Basically, control Phantom Knight, special summon this card. Pretty easy stuff, and you can only special summon it, uh, this card once per turn that way. Then banish this card from your graveyard, add one Phantom Knight spell or trap. From your deck to your hand. Pretty, pretty good stuff here. Then you got the Ka Kagam Kagamucha Knight, which is a good uh, card when you normal when you normal summon a level three monster, which every monster in this deck is a level three, and I'm being dead serious. Even the hand traps are. Uh, you can spell some of this card from your hand, and then basically go into link plays from there. A nice play, even if you want to go, maybe even go X Y Z. This could be pretty, pretty good. I got three tour guide of the underworld. This is your uh, fa or your burning abyss package right here. It's a small package, but it's a package nonetheless. Uh, basically, when you normal summon this card, spell summon one level three fiend monster from hand your deck, but negate its effects. It can also not be used as synchro material. That's okay because link materials exist. Anyway, this is a good three of another good starter for the deck. Uh, you want to see torrent scales, but this is not that bad of a starter either. Uh, now on to two of is uh, Phantom Knight of Ancient Cloud. If this card is an attack magician, you can target one dark monster on the field. Uh, its top effect is basically worthless. Change it to defense position. If you do gain 800 attack or defense into the opponent's turn, I don't know. Pretty garbage. It's more used for its bottom effect. Banish this card from your graveyard. Add one Phantom Knight's card from your deck to your hand, except, of course, of this card. This card is pretty good just to get more uh, or more uh, Phantomite monsters into your hand. This is pretty good to go with. I got the Phantom Knight of Stained Greaves, which is another card that came out in uh, Phantom Rage. Uh, this states if the Phantom Knight monster is special summoned to your field, uh, except for the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand, then increase the level of this card by one. Then you can banish this card from your graveyard, special summon one Phantom Knight monster from your Hand, not too bad of a card. Uh, yeah, two of without a doubt. And then for the one ofs, you got the Phantom Knight of Ragged Gloves. Not the best Phantom Knight, but it does have a good banish effect. It basically, if it's on field, you use it as an XYZ material. The XYZ monster gains a thousand attack. Not that good, honestly. But when you banish this card from your graveyard, you can send one Phantom Knight's card from your deck to your graveyard. That's not a bad effect, to be honest. But you don't want to see this ever in your hand because you'd rather see it in grave. So yeah, that that's uh, just a one of. Then uh, for your one ofs of Burning Abyss, you got Graph and Seer. Graph being able, if you, this card is sent to the graveyard, you can. Um, uh, what is it called? You can uh, uh, special summon one other Burning Abyss monster from your deck, which is usually uh, Seer, so not that much of a problem. Uh, then uh, the one ofs that are limited to one are Danger, Jackalope, and Danger uh, Tachinaku. I think that's how you pronounce that. Basically, you can reveal their cards in your hand, and your, chosen, your opponent has to choose one card. Then uh, if, they, if they don't discard the card, they uh, the dan one of the dangers. So in Jackalope's case, this, this card is not discarded. Uh, spell summon this card from your hand, then if you do, draw one card. If this card is special summon, you can spell summon one danger monster from your deck in defense position. So that's actually pretty good to get uh, Jack or Tachinoku onto the field as well. And then Tachinoku's effect is the same thing as uh, Jackalope. This card ain't discarded from its own effect. Then you can draw spell summon and draw one card. And if this card is discarded, you can spell summon this card. So that's actually not that bad. It's a little bit different from its bottom effect, 
uh, their bottom effects different just a little bit, but it's not too bad. These are good, very good cards to have to start off with. Uh, they're level 3 darks as well, so that's actually pretty good as well. Then for the hand traps, I got 3 Ash Blossom and 3 Ghost Bell. I wanted to throw somehow throw a little bit more hand traps in here. I couldn't find room, unfortunately, but it's okay to go with this. Maybe if you want to take out the Allure of Darkness, put in uh, like something like Skullmeister. That could work for you. But that is it for the monsters. Now onto the spa uh, spells, which of course was Allure of Darkness. I have three Allure of Darkness, which is draw two cards, then banish one dark monster from your hand, or if you don't, you send the rest of your uh, your hand to the graveyard. You're going to have a dark. This is really not a problem. Uh, so yeah, this is basically just to keep, keep, keep drawing cards, see if you can get cards in your hand to keep helping you further extend, get into that end board you want. Then I got one Phantom Knight Rank Up Magic Force. This was also a card that came out in Phantom Rage. Uh, during the main phase, banish one or more dark monsters and target one dark XYZ monster. Spell summon from the extract one Phantom Knight's monster, Raid Raptor monster, or XYZ Dragon XYZ monster, whose rank equals the targeted monster you control plus the number of banished uh, monsters you banish using materials. And for the rest of the turn, you cannot uh, spell summon monsters from the extra deck, except for, of course, XYZ summons. And then uh, this is treated as an XYZ summon. Uh, transfer its materials to the summon monster. And then you can only activate this once per turn. But you only have one in the deck anyways, because, again, you can search it out with ease in this deck. Uh, so, yeah, good one of in this deck. It's a very good uh, rank up for the Phantom Knights. So, pretty good. Uh, one reinforcement in the country because they're all war all the Phantom Knights are warriors, so this is a very good card to have in there. Uh, you got the fan three Phantom Knight of Fog Blades to start off with the traps. Again, basically a better Phoenix Chain. It's basically what it is. Activate this card by targeting one effect monster on the field, negate its effect. That uh, monster cannot attack. Also, monsters cannot target face up monster that face up monster for attacks, which is technically a downside, but it's not that bad. Uh, then, when this card leaves the field, destroy the card. Banish this card from your graveyard. Target one Phantom Knight monster in your graveyard. Special summon it, but banish it when it leaves. The field, pretty, pretty good. Again, you could search this out, and it's also good negation. I guess you could technically count that as a, uh, no, it's not a hand trap, because you have to set this for a turn. But it's a good, uh, another negation effect for the deck, and you could search it out with ease. But you want to see three, because it's a very good card. Then you got the one Phantom Knight Wing. Uh, basically, it has a top effect, but it's worthless. Uh, you can banish this card from your graveyard, though. Target one Phantom Knight monster in your graveyard. Special summon it, but it's effect... But banish it when it leaves the field. Basically the same thing as Fogblade, but you're mostly using this so you can uh, just keep special summoning. Keep extending more uh, when you do. Then you got the Phantom Knight of Shane Brigadine, just another uh, extender for the deck. Uh, special summon this card in defense position as a normal monster. And that it's not treated as a trap card anymore when it's on that field. Then, if you have no traps in your graveyard, you can activate it the turn it was set. That's why it's in here as a one of, though. Because you don't want to see multiple of these, because you can only activate these once per turn. And you're only going to be using it maybe once a duel anyways. So yeah, that is it for the whole deck, except for, yes, you saw it, it's the Dragoon package. With one Red Eyes Fusion, one Red Eyes, or Black Dragon, and one Dark Magician, yep, this is the a red eyes package, but that is it for the deck. Now, let's get into the extra deck. Starting off with the rank threes, which uh, the first one is the Phantom Knight of Break Sword, which is a very good card. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card, target one card you're, you control, and one card your opponent controls, destroy them. Then, uh, or if an XYZ summon card is destroyed, you can target two or if this XYZ summon card is destroyed, my bad, uh, target two uh, Phantom Knight monsters in your graveyard with the same level, uh, special summon them and increase their level by one. You cannot special summon for the rest of the turn, except dark monsters. It locks you into darks, but who really cares? Everything in this deck is basically darks. Uh, so yeah, two of without a doubt, because it has that destruction effect for you when you're, like, if you have that go second play, you can destroy one of their monsters and still get a uh, rank two level four monsters on, well, two uh, monsters with the same level then increase their level by one but considering everything in this deck is level three they're going to become level four so yeah basically very good card uh two of without a doubt one levionaire the sea dragon two level three monsters as well once per turn detach one material from this card target one banish level four lower monster special summon that target to your 
field a very good card because of this this deck does banish a lot so yeah you're gonna want to see Levionaire the sea dragon to get some of your banished uh materials back now on to the rank fours there's only uh three of them uh first one is abyss dweller this is in here because of how good it is in today's format now it's unfortunate because uh you have to summon this through breaker sword uh which breaker sword does lock you into darks but there are also other ways like uh stain grease can increase its level by one same thing with torn scales there are other ways to get into a piss dweller uh, the reason why it's in here uh while this card has material attached that uh or well it has a worthless top effect its bottom effect is you can detach one material from this card as a quick effect your opponents cannot activate any card's effects in the graveyard that is amazing in today Today's uh, current format without a doubt that is very very good to have in the deck uh, if you don't want to use abyss dweller because I know it's very hard to pull out in this deck uh, use Zeus instead Zeus is fucking amazing uh, I could not I somehow didn't find space to put Zeus in here but yeah if you don't want to use abyss dweller go with Zeus then I got the Raiders Knight, which is, requires two level four Dark Monsters, and it's always treated as a Phantom Knight or and a Raid Raptor card at the exact same time. For the people who watch my Raid Raptor uh, video, you can see that this card was in there as well because of how good it is. Uh, so uh, you can detach one material from this card, plus someone from your extra deck one Phantom Knight, one Raid or a Raid Raptor or an X Y Z Dragon X Y Z Monster. Uh, with one rank higher or lower than this card by using this face-up card you control as material, but destroy it during your opponent's end phase. Uh, this, this is treated as an XYZ summon, and of course, all the bullshit. Is this is a very good way. Uh, this is because uh, of um, a later card, which we'll get into in just one second. This is more if you're going second or if you're like further into the duel, you need to go into something. Raider Knight and then whatever the, the card I was about to go into uh, is very good to go with. Then the last rank four in here is uh, Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon, two level fours. It does have an effect. You can detach two materials from this card. Target one face on monster your opponent controls. Its attack becomes half of its current attack. And if it does, this card gains that attack. Very good card, but we're not really using it for its um, actual effect. We're using it because it's important as a material for Dark Requiem XYZ Dragon, which requires three level five, starting off with the rank fives. So if this card has Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon as a material, it gains these effects. So if it has this card, it can gain effects. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card. Target one face-up monster your opponent controls, changes attack to zero, and if you do, this card gains attack equal to that monster's attack. Very good card, but it's very good effect there, but its bottom effect is what we're really focusing on. When your opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect, you can detach one material from this card, negate the activation. If you do, destroy that card. Then, you can special summon one XYZ monster from your graveyard. Very, very good card to have in here. You uh, go through this uh, by going into Dark Requiem, using uh, Phantom Knights during your opponent's turn to get into Dark Requiem XYZ Dragon. So, very good uh, co little combo there. Then the last uh, level or uh, XYZ monster is Arc Rebellion XYZ Dragon. This is your combo with Raider's Knight. So after you use Raider Knight to go into Arc Rebellion XYZ Dragon. So basically when this, this XYZ summon card cannot be destroyed by card effects. So it kind of gets around uh, Raider's Knight uh, downside effect where you have to destroy the card during the end phase. But Arc Rebellion cannot be destroyed. So that's very, very good. Then you can detach one material from this card. This card gains attack equal to the total original attack of all monsters on the field. Then if this card has a dark XYZ material, uh, dark uh, XYZ monster as material, which you should, it's a Raider's Knight, uh, uh, you, uh, negate the effects of all other face-up monsters on the field. That is a fucking amazing card right there. And then after this effect, you cannot declare attacks with other monsters for the rest of the turn. Except, of course, for this card. So this card is basically an OTK machine. That's why it's in here. Now, you're not going to pull this out if you're going first, but if you're going second or it goes later into the duel, this is a card you really want to pull out to finish out those games. So yeah, you can pull it out with Raider's Knight and then get its negation effect uh, with Raider's Knight as a material. So very good rank monster. Now on to the Link Monsters. 
First things first, I got Link Spider, just in case you have to put uh, Shane Breeding into a Link Spider. That's really all it's in here for, just to keep, uh, if you have to use Shane Breeding as a Link to Link Spider before going to other card effects. Then I got uh, Cherubini, uh, which is an amazing, amazing Burning Abyss monster, which only requires two level three monsters, so it doesn't even require Burning Abyss monsters. Very, very good card. Uh, monsters this card uh, points to cannot be destroyed by card effects, and this card would be destroyed by battle or opponent's card effect. You can send one other card you control to the graveyard instead. You can send one level three monster from your deck to the graveyard, target one Burning Abyss monster on the field, it gains attack equal to it. Equal to the attack and defense of the monster you sent to the graveyard until the end of this turn. That's a very good card effect because it sends for cost nonetheless. So they can't basically negate it. Yeah, its bottom effect can be negated, but you're not really worried about its bottom effect. You're worrying about its cost. You can send one level three monster to the deck to the graveyard. Doesn't even need to be Burning Abyss if you want to. It can be any of the fucking uh, Phantom Knight monsters you have in here. That is an amazing Link 2 to have in the deck. Nightmare Unicorn for just a generic Link 3 for later on in the game. Discard, discard Link Summon, discard one card, target one a card on the field, return it to the deck. Very good card to have in there. Uh, Phantom Knight of Rusty Bardich, a card that recently has came back. Uh, requires two Dark Monsters during your main phase. You can send one Phantom Knight monster from your deck to the graveyard. That's the cost. And then set one Phantom Knight Spar Trap directly from your deck into the spell or trap zone. Then if a dark XYZ monster is plus summoned to a zone this card points to, while this monster is on the field, uh, except during the damage tip, you can target one card on the field, destroy it. Very good effect. You can proc its second effect by yourself. Absolutely amazing. Then you got Access Code Talker because Access Code Talker is fucking amazing, especially to finish out games as well. Then you got Verte and Aconda and the Dragoon for your Dragoon package. Side deck now, you got the three Droll Lockbirds because, you know, Drytrons, three Skull of Meister, three Nibiru the Primal Being, three Lightning Storm, and three Forbidden Droplets. You basically side these in. When you are going second, because you uh, want it, if you want these, since you don't control that much hand traps going first, uh, you definitely want to see these hand traps going second without a doubt. So that is it for the deck profile. Now let's get into the card. Okay, this is a typical hand you'll see with the Phantom Knights. So this is actually a pretty decent hand. We'll go ahead and activate the reinforcement of the armory and add ourselves the torn scales because his self is a warrior. Now, this is actually an interesting choice. You have a couple options here. You can either go from Tour Guide of the Underworld, Chain Block with Kagamucha Knight uh, for its effect to go off, summon yourself a graph and stuff like that. But in this case, I think we're honestly going to special or normal summon ourselves a Torn Scales, and then off Torn Scales, we will special summon Kagamucha Knight. And then we'll declare the effect of Torn Scales, we'll discard Ragged Gloves for cost, and we'll send ourselves Ancient Cloak to the graveyard. Then we'll go ahead and link two here. And then special summon our favorite link two monster. Ooh, Dueling Book is having some lag now. There we go. Uh, we go ahead and get ourselves Chair of Beanie. Then declare Chair of Beanie's effect for cost nonetheless. We'll send Graph to Graveyard. And then off Graph's effect, we'll special summon Seer. And then, of course, Graph will gain its attack from Graph. And then we'll link t three this time, uh, going into ourselves a Rusty Bardich. We'll clear Seer's effect, special summoning Cherubini back from the graveyard. Then we'll go ahead and, yeah, we'll declare uh, Rusty Bardich effect. I don't think we have a Silent Boots in Grave yet, so we'll send Silent Boots to the graveyard. And then we have to set ourselves a card, that's right. <laughs> Uh, we'll set ourselves a rank up magic force that so we already have the fog blade in hand Then we'll go ahead and uh, banish ourselves the ancient cloak and actually add ourselves a uh, Stained greaves to hand and then off the banish of ancient cloak We're going to special summon torn scales because of its effect then the effect of stained greaves since a phantom knight monster was special summon special summon the stained greaves then we'll go into an overlay and then uh, we will special summon uh, Breaker Sword, declare a uh, Rusty Bardage effect, but destroying the Breaker Sword. Breaker Sword effect, special summoning uh, back the Torn Scales and the uh, 
and the Sting Greaves, now they are level 4s, go into another overlay. Into this time, we're going into Dark Requiem XYZ Dragon. Now we still have a lot of plays to go through here. Uh, we'll go ahead and banish ourselves uh, the uh, Silent Boots here. Go ahead and add ourselves a Shane Brigadine. And then we'll go ahead and just banish ourselves a silent uh, or a stain greaves and go ahead and send ourselves a wings so you have multiple options here you can either set shane brigadine or uh, well this well before you know active activating ragged gloves you can go set shane brigadine activate uh link him off into link spider and then link two of terabini and link spider to go into of course your um uh verte anaconda but in this case, we can't do that since I did send Phantom Wings. So in this case, we'll banish the Phantom Wings. Special Summon Breaker Sword in attack position. And then it will go into a Link 2. Breaker Sword will get banished because of Wings effect. And go into ourselves a Verte and Daconda. Declare the effect of Verte and Daconda. Paid 2,000 life points. Uh, send ourselves a... Uh, where Where is it? Uh, Red Eyes Fusion, and then it let's just say it goes through, send yourself a Black Dragon and Dark Magician, summon yourself a Dark Dragon, then we'll set one, and then basically that's your end board right here. Uh, you have one, uh, well, let's say past turn, you wait for your opponent to do stuff, activate the uh, Rank Up Magic Barrier, or Rank Up Magic uh, Phantom Knight, Rank Up Magic Force, uh, you're going to have to banish for cost. I like banishing Dark Magician here so they don't have any Ice Dragon Prism plays to get rid of Dragoon. And then go into our Dark Requiem XYZ Dragon. So now you have a negate with Dragoon. You have three negates with Dark Requiem with uh, any monster. And then, a base, and then a fifth negate with Fogblade. This is actually a pretty, pretty good board to have on your field you still have tour guide from the underworld in hand with shane brigadine let's just draw for turn oh we get danger Ch chatsunoku as well that's actually pretty brilliant and basically you just go into otks from there so yeah that's what the deck can do i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did leave a like and subscribe for more content i do upload Yu-Gi-Oh videos every single day except for sundays i hope to see you guys in the next one uh goodbye